what is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel hope everybody had a good week um before we get started with today's video if i can get out of this dang sun <clears throat> before we get started with today's video i just want to let everybody know that spot did not end up making it he lasted about another day after that last video and um it the worms just got a hold of him too bad and some other stuff got a hold of him he just he couldn't pull through so uh now we're one billy goat down um we still got edward we're gonna try like hell with him um we ended up this past friday we uh we took everybody to the vet we took josephine bruce and edward to the vet and the vet said everybody looked fine <clears throat> everybody was good everybody looked healthy josephine her not taking that bottle when we first got her really affected her so she's gonna take about double the time to really mature up which is no big deal you know i, I kind of figure considering she's about still about half maybe half the size of bruce is so um other than that i just want to let y'all know that that spot didn't make it through um i was really hoping he would i was really hoping he was going to pull through because like I said in my last video, I was wanting to move him down to some land I was going to rent down in on south side, south side of town to my in-law's place. But it looks like we're going to have to find us another, another buck. So, um, so that's going to be it for this little section. And now we're going to move on to the day's video. And uh, I hope you all enjoy it. Like I said, I hope everybody had a good week. Um, I hope everybody had a good Labor Day, you know, all that good stuff. I think last week was Labor Day. I don't want to say it was. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, y'all stay tuned. If you haven't already, go like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll pick y'all up in the next one. All right, guys, I'm about to show y'all what today's video is all about. Um, I made a video earlier, and somehow I didn't even hardly talk about what we was doing. So... Now we're remaking it. That way I can and edit it and post it or not. We all have a video for this week. So, um, so I'm about to flip the camera around. And here she is. I bought an abandoned cow trailer off old lady. Not old lady. Old. I bought a, a cow trailer off a nice older lady this past weekend. And, um, just because I've been having to borrow trailers and, with the maize and everything coming up, you know, our local corn maize and stuff, trailers are kind of hard to get. Just, like, try to borrow them. Just because everybody's taking their animals either to the fair or to the to the local maize and stuff like that. So, I picked up this jewel. She has probably been sitting for, and I'd say, at least 15 years. I mean, I done kicked all the floor out of it. I'll play that time lapse real quick.
all done watching that time lapse. This is a uh, this is her. Um, slight problems with buying something that this that's this old. The hoe, which I have, it's in the truck right now. Um, you, you can't find the bearings for them. I mean, this one was off, or the tire was off. It still had the hub and spindle on it. But trying to find a new hub and spindle with newer bearings is hard to do. Because I went to our local big bearing dealer, another tractor equipment place, and nobody could tell me anything about these bearings or hubs. Everybody wants to sell me a new spindle and cut and weld. I don't want to do all that. Not for what? Not for what I have in this in this jewel right here. But um, if we can ever find the spindles and hubs and all that, because these hubs take a ball bearing. It's that oh, it don't take a roller style bearing. It takes a ball bearing. But if we can find those hubs, new bearings, new spindles and everything, we're going to redo the floor. We're going to rip all this out, as y'all seen in the time lapse with that over there. We're going to cut the rest of this out, put some um, some C-channel supports in the middle, come back with tube of sixes, and come back with hog pen on top of tube of sixes. And the reason we're going to go back with, we're going to go with tube of sixes because they're cheap enough to replace. And they'll last, they should last a pretty long while. I mean, you you talking about going and spending at least a grand on just metal to do the inside of this, and I'm not wanting to spend that much because they didn't pay that much for the dang trailer. <laughs> but um, I can do tube of sixes and hog panel pretty cheap. I think I can do that for less than a couple hundred bucks. And we're going to repaint it. <clears throat> I don't know what color yet. As you can see, she's, I don't know if y'all can tell. But she, well, in the picture, she looks fine. But if you're looking at it like I'm looking at, she's kind of kind of tweaked to one side. And that's because this one tire has been off so long, it kind of just warped everything. And I've done had all these black marches where I went through and re-welded a whole bunch of stuff. Or a whole bunch of these pipes just because they, were, they had snapped from all the, just tweak. So, um, <clears throat> we are going to go through... And if we can find, like I said, if we can find the spindles and new bearings and all that, we're going to come through, put all new tires on it and new floor. Come through, put lights all down the side, lights on the back, um, new jack. Most cow trailers you see, when you're out there working in a field and working cows and everything, you're not going to have like a water tank on you to wash your hands if you get cow shit and stuff like that on you. And... I've noticed that, like, when I used to farm, when we worked cows, you'd get covered in it and get it all over your hands. You had to use wipes or some kind of hand soap or something, and you really didn't have access to water being out there in the field. Well, I'm thinking <laughs> about putting me a dang water pump on here, or a water tank, with a little pump, put a little pressure behind it. I don't know how I want to do it yet. I'm really hoping I can find the spindles in the new hubs and new bearings. Or, hell, if I can find new bearings and... And just replace the dang bearings. I mean, I'd be tickled to paint doing that. But um, this whole project depends on if I can find that new stuff. If I can't find it, it's just up shit creek without a paddle. Um, but what else are we gonna do to it? I'm thinking on the water, because like, you can get one of them, them big like 15 gallon tanks. I'm building a. Here, let me flip you around. Zoom out dang phone but you can get you a box built or i can build a box to go up here put a tank on it and have like a nozzle that comes up and sprays off the side off either side i'm extra like that like i like having that kind of stuff that way if you do get out there and you're sitting there trying to you know you, you covered in cow poo from working cows or goats or whatever you you're working zebras i guess but when you get done you want to be able to wash your hands so just go ahead and keep you some soap or whatever in your box and just hit a switch and your water comes on. Thing flies. But um, I'm trying to think what else we're going to do to it. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. We have a barn update. 
it's supposed to be built this week or the beginning of next week. Which, if y'all watching this video, today's the September the 12th. No, today's the 13th. So I called yesterday the 12th. I said it, everything came in, and I should have it built by the end of this week or the beginning of next week. I believe it when I see it. I'm not sure if it will actually come in or not. But um, I'm really banking on that to be built. So we can get this done, if we can find damn parts. And we can get that under it, start back on it. Um, I'm not too worried about this being under there. She sits out in the weather all the time. But I would like to get the cow trailer, the gray truck, and the boat out of the weather. So I can work on this one while it's raining, if it's under the barn. I can work on that one, and it's out of the weather. Because the seals are bad in the windows on the door, so it just... It's just old. Um, and just keep the boat out of the weather. But uh, I'm trying to think. We're just going, we're going full scent on this trailer. The thing I do like, it's got the old pull pin style hitch on it versus just a, like a two inch ball. I like that. I mean, most people don't because they, which I ain't. I think most people don't because of the jerk because you have so much play right there it jerks real bad when you take off and stop it don't bother me to be honest with you because for one i'm never gonna leave that pin in it the pin's gonna be in one of these trucks or i might have multiple pins built for all the trucks and never leave a pin in it and you can't just use a standard pull pin style pin in it because you have to use the bottom the very bottom uh trying to point y'all the bare bottom grooves at least i did on that gmc of mine and now i'm gonna have to do it on blue because they sit so low in the in the rear um i'm trying to think though yeah i'm gonna draw up something and come up with a water tank for the front of this you can pick up the water tanks for like 60 bucks and that's with a pump so you you think about it Probably less than a couple hundred bucks, you can put a water tank on here. I mean, you think about it. The box, you get a big enough box, but that's probably going to cost you about 150 bucks at least. And it's just so much wasted space up here. That's the thing that kick. That's the thing that kicks me is like, let me flip. I'm filming off my phone instead of my GoPro, so I was going to stick with it. I just don't feel like getting the GoPro out. But there's just so much wasted space here. I mean, you think about it, they could have came through and put sheet metal down where you can walk on it or did something with it. I'm thinking water tank. I mean, you come through with a piece of sheet metal right here, some, somehow build you a box. You don't want your tank exposed. You get the algaes in it then. But I mean, hell, you do that and spend a couple hundred bucks. And you have water on the on the trailer at all times. And another thing about this trailer, we're gonna have to fix. I ain't holding my phone crooked. That's how bent that hitch is. And I don't know what did it. So I'm thinking I hook a strap to this side on the top, going this way. Hook a strap on the bottom going this way and then it should take and just bend back straight that's my idea behind it to be honest i mean that 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 piece is kind of kind of bent too but i mean it's just one of them cow trailers that everybody used to use and the floor's rotting out in it, and nobody wanted to use it. Or that the freaking barren went out. I'll comment down below what y'all want to see on it. I mean, I'm tired of having to borrow trailers to go and get animals or take animals to the vet or just whatever. I'm, I want to be self-sustainable. Where I know I shouldn't have to borrow nothing. I'm still looking at getting a tractor. 
that's going to be a later on down the road type deal. Um, we do have something extremely big coming, and I can't tell y'all about that yet. This is going to be a big surprise. Gray truck should be coming back around soon. Um, there ain't much we can do on it until I pull the transmission out of this green one to have sent off and rebuilt and get back. And I just I don't have the time for it right now, not with everything going on. Um, I'm trying to think. We could swap the intake over on the gray truck. I don't know how interesting that would be. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can get some more animals soon. I called a guy the other or talked to a fellow the other day. He's supposed to be calling a, a guy that he knows that has some goats. Um, really not trying to get any big herd animals yet. I'm not really trying to get no big cows, no big black Angus cows, just because of the amount of land I have. You can't really sustain that much pressure on this little piece that I got. Um, but yeah. I know the barn video, whenever it gets built, it'll be a pretty good one. That's going to be a pretty good video. Cause we gotta, we'll got we probably do it getting built. And then coming through and putting all the stalls in. And then fitting all the animals in and all that. That might be what we do. I don't know yet. Y'all let me know what y'all want to see. I mean, I'm just a man with a camera at this point um y'all like subscribe comment down below and we'll just see y'all on the next one